And so if you've ever made a decision in your life where you said no thank you to God and did your own thing, guess what? God can speak to you. Right? You, you, you can't, like Jonah bought a ticket and he got on a boat and he went the complete opposite direction. All these little choices leading in the wrong direction. If you've made a lot of little choices leading in the wrong direction, guess what? God can speak to you. If he spoke to Jonah, he can speak to you. And if you're on that boat and you get God so, I don't know if the word's upset or you get God's attention enough, where as we read in chapter one, he throws a storm into the sea and Jonah convinces the sailors to throw him over the boat and kill him. He would rather die than do what God wanted him to do. If God would speak to a man like Jonah, oh man, he can speak to you, and he can speak to me. There's a little bit of Jonah in you, there's a little bit or a lot of bit of Jonah in me, and if God's speaking to him a second time, come on, he can speak to you. And if you get a word from the Lord, if the Lord speaks to you, and he gives you a second time, a third time, a fourth time, a tenth time, a twentieth time, then let me tell you, you can get up and go. You can get up and go in his strength and his power, not because you're going to figure it out, not because you've got the magic bullet or whatever, the magic wand. It's because the Lord has spoken to you, and his word is telling you and imploring you and empowering you to get up and go. You can do it.